Hey, uh, I am Natan. This is the video recap for my Stall Chasers Intensive class. Uh, we started just by covering the Stall Chaser. You can do it like a big arc, or alternatively, you can make it like a really tight right angle. The first variation we covered was doing the snake on each side. That's just a shoulder snake. And if you want to do more of a tracer, you can do an entire, an entire head tracer with the back. Um, after that, we covered doing that snake and adding a point isolation on the other side, which is just a pop, like that. Um, we discovered that you can do a toss on either side to reverse the direction. Uh, and then we went through the Teddy variants from the Skunk Hog Trials video. Um, the first one is the wrap variation. Then there's the in-spin float variation, and then there's the anti-spin variation. And as a challenge, you can do all three of these as a anti-spin wrap float. So, anti-spin wrap, float. Um, and then came, oh, we, we talked about entering from reverse butterfly. And we talked about this silly little up, up, down, down pattern. We also discovered that we can apply the point isolation right there and go into that pattern. Um, each hand is just going down and up, but it's in this weird timing. So you start by just down, down, up, up, and then you want to try and make the top half look like a chaser. You can make the bottom half look like a chaser too if you want. Um, you can also combine this with the point isolation that we talked about earlier. The two patterns go really well with each other. Um, as a challenge, if you know how to do a butterfly barrel rolls, you can go right into them from this pattern. Um, from there, we, we briefly talked about turning, which I'm actually not fantastic at, but some of you guys got it. Um, G-pops. We did the, what I call the Drex right angle silly point isolation. Um, then there were a few different sequences we went through. There's this one. And then we went through the Kate variation, which is this. And as an extra challenge, you can do a plane bend and just sort of a corkscrew from right there. Hmm? Um, one minute. Okay, yeah, so, so then we talked about the, <laughs> the silly orbital entrance. So from here to there. And lastly, as an as a extra challenge, I, I demonstrated but didn't quite explain this. Oh, wait. Yeah, so I'll do it one more time. So yeah, that was the class. You can feel free to email me or Facebook me or whatever and ask me questions and I will help you out.